Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a geometric taped canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. We're sending home these small white envelopes this time because our canvas is a small white five by seven, um, wrapped or unwrapped. Additionally, you're getting masking tape. It's slightly less than a half inch wide since we've got a smaller canvas, um, as well as a small bag with some soft pastels in there to use, definitely in pieces so that we could get everybody a range of colors. Um, since the pastels kind of get on your fingers, we are providing one glove. If you'd like to protect your hands, you can see I'm protecting my workspace. And then also two just basic tissues um, to blend with. If you'd like a couple more, you can always grab those. So really to get started with this one, of course, we're gonna unwrap our canvas. There we've got our canvas. And you're gonna just make your design choices. So on my initial example, I just did kind of a cross where they met and I got these really cool white spaces. So if I was looking to do something that was maybe a little bit less abstract, I could do that. I just need to find the end of my tape, which is right there. And so I'm going to come down here and just tape. Um, since this is masking tape, you really are going to be able to just tear it if you'd like. Um, if you prefer, you can always use scissors and that will get you a much cleaner cut. So I'm almost doing another little zigzag here, kind of a, a mountain type look. Come right down here, going around the edges to really seal that off. I'm going to do another kind of mirroring that here. A short piece there. And um, remember that any places where you have your tape at least at first is going to be masked off um, and will remain the color of the canvas. So since I've got my first line here, I'm going to go ahead and glove up so I don't get pastel all over my hands. Glove doesn't want to play along, which will likely happen to you as well. All right, good enough. So I've got some fun pastel colors here. I think I'm going to go with a green, just really getting in there at first and getting down as much color as I can right onto the canvas. I'm going to add one of my slightly browner colors in here. Let's see how this one does. That's maybe a little too gray. Let's go in here. Um, something in a warm yellow. Nope, that's a little orange. There. And then now that I've got color on, I'm going to take one of my tissues. I'm going to fold it over several times. You'll be able to use these multiple times. Um, so I like a kind of a point. Um, you could also do a longer edge. It really is up to you how you would like to blend your colors. So I'm just going to come through here, blend my pastels together. Coming up 
and over kind of my mountains not going to blend where um, some of that has gone i'm just going to knock that right off um, so that i don't really have green on that portion of the canvas and we're seeing that I'm getting um, some of that dusting on my workspace. So if I don't want it to get on my canvas, I'm going to make sure to wipe that up before I come back. And then if I peel that layers, these layers of tape off, I'll get my look here. To those layers of tape and some of them may come off together others you may have to really pick through and last little piece for this piece so there's my first layer of design I've got my green I can kind of come through here if I've got some areas where the pastel is really like layered up or that I want to kind of run through again and just gonna blow that up a little I come right kind of across so some of that will be under tape I'm not really gonna push down too hard with this portion so I don't really want to pull off underneath. Give myself another line here. Can go right through there. Just a gentle. And I'm gonna come across that with a darker blue. really just kind of experimenting and adding colors so I'm gonna to fold to another side of my tissue there get in a little bit of circular motion here go underneath that go underneath a little And another color. And my blue corner here. Looking a little bit like water down here, which I'm loving. And I can come down. I do want to block off little bit of area here keep some of that white along the edges so I'm just gonna come right around and get the green into blue right in that area with those colors and then coming back and blending I go flip back to my green side here so that I can blend in down these areas Maybe a little bit of the green side in with my blue and come back around right, so I can peel off these tapes very gently see there my first layer is down still Got a bit of white right here and there my tape wasn't down all the way so some of my green went underneath that's all right knock it off elsewhere so that I don't get that dust spreading to other areas of my design where maybe I don't want it oh, that looks cool
come in with a little bit of purple in these spots and some of that more rusty red kind of almost brownish maybe and since I I didn't add tape here since I do want it to blend in to really blend through and pull some of these blues and greens down into this area and I can also come through here just with that same tissue since I've got the pastel on it and go there Starting to get a bit of an abstract landscape going here. And really with this um, project, your tape, um, your kind of options are fairly unlimited. Let's see, I'm gonna block off. Oh, let's block off this side of the mountain. I'm gonna come up here. Do some sunshine over here. Come straight across over here. And I think I'm going to add one more coming. Oh, let's, let's hold out on some of that. Three. So here I'm going to come with, it's going to be my light source, so definitely some yellow at the top of each of these, bring in some orange, a bit of red. back out where's my blue sky a bit of blues a little bit of blues and since I'm still on my first tissue I've got all this space on the inside where I can definitely come back through and switch over to the blue bring it down two under my, my little guys there and I can peel off this tape layer I'm gonna have some little spots where I can come back and I think I'm gonna come back with blue on these pull this tape off oh yeah and The lighter blue would be better here. And then I'm just going to come back through and blend with my little pieces. And still got an even other interior of my tissue. So I can wrap that back around. This time I'm actually wrapping around my finger. That'll give me, um, this way I have a little bit more control inside there as I go. And just blending that all together. Getting some of that blue just all across my very um, strange and geometric sky. Kind of my landscape, geometric almost landscape there. As always, um, we hope you enjoy this project and this month's Canvas project. We look forward to next month's Canvas project and hope that you share with us some of your completed projects. Thanks for watching.